But all right, guys, we just picked up more junk. Two junks, actually. Matter of fact, a car I thought, or a car I said I was never ever gonna buy again. Yes, of course, an FCRX7, a very ugly one. Ain't that right, Dino? Um, it's kind of crazy. It looks like it's a very uncorroded car because you can see like the uh, the zinc coating on all the stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, haven't really got a chance to like look at it or not because like, I got dropped this off the trailer and then go pick the other one up. I actually bought two for one. But the interior of this thing is oh so disgusting. Like the guy said it's been sitting in his barn or his like garage, like a, a nice garage for like 10 years or something stupid. So I understand why it's so disgusting. But it is Look at the, I've never seen that happen before. But of course, like I said, I don't mess with these cars anymore. That is like really bad. So, it's a sunroof car, sucks. If it was a hard top car, I'd probably want to keep it. So now there's three FCs in the yard, or there will be this one and two turbos. Like the other car I'm gonna get is the 88 turbo. Um, I think this is like a 90, uh, you know, I'm guessing it's a GXL the way it looks like it's trimmed out. And the other turbo car that you guys have seen that I've kind of like halfway parted out. So um, I have like a little bit of, Dino, what you think? <laughs> There's a little part of me that wants to like part out the majority of them and like piece one car together for me to keep. But will we, we will see. Yeah. It's some kind of like hobbled together exhaust system on this thing. Uh, a little rust in the common area. So uh, that's not not really good, but it's pretty common for these to rust out, I think, because water people never clean these drains out. The drains inside your little rain channel, and then the water overfills and like it leaks into the the spare tire area and rots them out. So. But everywhere else, it's not too shabby for a, uh, geez, I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> not too shabby for a 30 year old car. I my shot it with a BB gun right there. Oh yeah, that's gross. Look at these seats. Well, this thing looks like it was like a flood car or something. I haven't, this is pretty bad. But as disgusting as this thing is, look at that. Non-broke center vents. That's pretty cool. So. But yeah, I figured I would show you guys this car real quick before we drop it off the trailer. But like, I want to do like a weird swap. I don't want to do another LS swap because both my FDs are going to be LS. That's just the way it's going to be. I can't afford to do anything else. But like, it'd be dope to keep one of these and do something weird like, you know, some kind of V6, maybe like, uh, I don't know, an HR, <laughs> since I have an engine and transmission. But I, I don't know. I've seen a couple guys online that's done it. Looks like it kinda works. Doesn't really fit under the hood. But like I said, if I kept this thing and built it, it would be just, it'd be like hot boy drift car, you know, body kit, big wing, kind of stuff like that. Maybe something like what Hertz got going on with his, but just with like, you know, a DE V6, you know, a 350Z engine or something. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty, pretty rust free though. Kind of trying to look at some of the common areas where I know rust is bad on these. Eh. I'll check under the battery later. I've already tried to spin the motor just by hand. I don't want to damage it if the motor's good but I seriously doubt the engine's good <laughs> so usually these things you can spin them over um, pretty easy I there's a brief like I even thought for a second it wouldn't be wouldn't be too too horrible to pick up like a crashed RX-8 and swap the you know the Renesis whatever that thing is in here well, I just, I don't have the rotary stuff in me no more. I don't have the support to keep one of those things running, so. All right, I'm gonna get this thing dropped off the trailer and then we'll go pick up the other car. I'll let you guys see that one and uh, might show you the 
I will go ahead and walk over here. I'll walk over here and show you what's remaining <laughs> of the old um, turbo two back here. So, but I used to have a bunch of FCs. Like I mean, I've had, I've, I've had every model, every trim package of the FC. And yes, that's counting the GTUS, even the super rare things. I've had them, but. This thing is still sitting back here with not much, not much stuff left on it. But I, I truly picked up the cars to uh, just to make money. So I was going to like try to sell them and put a little money in my pocket for other projects. But you know, I figured I would make a couple posts about it maybe i can get enough people you know excited about it where i could actually do it but uh at this point i doubt it I, I would rather pick up a c4 corvette and uh you know build that into like a little drift car or something but it would be cool to do something kind of it almost looks like they uh they dropped this thing off a trailer or something which sucks man because these these fenders are um not easy to find anymore I, mean, I can imagine all the body panels this one could probably be fixed boy i'm not petting you <laughs> so even the tail lights are like like this thing is in horrible shape so it it's really not worth saving i would think like by the time you bought all this stuff and replaced it the spoiler like you'd you'd spend a small fortune i know so needy worse than a girlfriend But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing dropped off the trailer and um I don't know. We'll uh we'll see. We'll go pick up the other one and uh we'll just go from there. Well, we got the other one back, so just show you guys this is actually kinda looks like it was a nice car, but there's uh one major problem with it. One, it's just a roller. It is a turbo car, but of course someone's already got the rear end and the engine transmission out of it. But the biggest problem is just this is thing is rusty let me tell you this is the worst rust car i've ever seen um but like i said i'm in south carolina uh, if you can see that, that that hole right there is not supposed to be there but i live in south carolina so rust really isn't bad here so usually if there's a rusty car something's happened that caused it to rust um yeah, uh, the only reason like I said I picked them up was just for parts. Um, I said this is the most pristine shape turbo two hood I think I have ever seen. Like the scoop hasn't been cracked, it's not cracked, hasn't had any work done to it at all. It's these like original paint, like that. There's not a dent in this thing. So, I mean, look at that. <laughs> absolutely the most pristine turbo to it i've ever seen like i said that in itself was worth picking the cars up i would keep the hood and just hang it on the wall if i had a garage <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna just part these bad boys out i think um the other car is it's really disgusting it's not rusty but it's just disgusting but between the three i could probably put together a really cool car but like i said i just don't have the support to do it i mean i've got some other projects um and I've had my fun with the FCs, so I don't want to waste the time and what little money I have fooling around with these things when I could be building, you know, my FDs. So, but we'll see. I seriously, seriously doubt it. If this engine was, let's get this thing. Let me throw something on it. See if I can get it to like even move. But I'm almost certain the engine is. Um, what is it going to be? 24. That's gonna be too big, probably. Um, but I'm almost certain the engine is like it's uh, it's seized, which would make sense because the car doesn't have any damage on it. So a bad engine would definitely uh, take the car off the road. So probably should like soak this thing before I attempt to turn the engine, but I don't really care. If this thing 
was like firing up and running it still wouldn't motivate me to ever want to have a rotary in my life again so that's one of those things been there done that uh don't ever intend on going back so unless someone else is paying for it if anybody wants to build me a rotary engine for one of my fds like i would i would do it i'll take it but other than that i, I don't want one to me they make a they make a cool sound but that's about it let's see yep my belt slipped holy shit it turned huh huh i don't want to spin the engine but you can see it is so Maybe we'll, we might play with this thing. So I'm gonna pull the plug to this thing, put some oil in it. Who knows, maybe this thing will run. That'd be dope. I doubt it though. I doubt it, but we'll try anyway. <laughs> Cause I mean, the car's not crashed or anything. So why else would they take it off the road? So if this is another one of those, if it's blown up, but it's just like a fuel pump, that would be insane. But, uh, Okay, well, that's probably the end of this video. But um, if you guys want me to try to get this thing running, uh, just let me know in the comments. So, so maybe pull the plugs, soak it with some penetrating oil, just so we don't cause any damage, and then do a compression check on it. If we got compression, it might be worth messing with. But I don't think you guys are going to see these cars again. I'm going to go on record and say that because I just don't see... Um, out of the 12 people that are going to see this video that anyone's really going to care but I just like making videos about it because it kind of I can look back and see I'm like oh yeah I remember those things but yeah for now that's going to be it guys uh, just haven't really seen these things up for sale for a decent deal in quite some time so um, seeing that guy just had to jump on it so I'm glad I went and picked him up but like so we might we might see if we can get that that junk running but um, I doubt it alright guys Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.